Hello, it's about 3.30 on October, I think it's 20, 22nd, October 22nd. I am up in some Idaho mountains, North Idaho, near Beehive Lake. I'm on the trail. I'm standing beside a waterfall right now. So I thought I'd show that and then talk about what I'm doing. So here's a little view of the waterfall. Making its way down the mountain. And there's where it's going. Off that, off that way. It might actually be coming out of the the lake. I don't I don't have a great map and I haven't really been following a map. I've just been basically following the trail. So it could be coming out. I'm not sure how close I am to the lake, but I think from the uh the weather that I'm seeing and the daylight is receding and gets dark pretty soon. Uh I think it's I'm thinking I'm going to turn around and head back because uh, for one thing the trail has been a bit a bit faint I think it would be difficult to follow out in the dark even with a headlamp there's some risk there but then the uh, the sky has been intermittently being more or less threatening and let's see I think it's clouds are coming from that direction so like if if something if it were to if there was to be rain on the way I might not get much warning it might just come straight over right over and get me before I had much of a chance to decide much about it. I do have rain gear, um, but it still would be pretty miserable being cold. It's a little bit chilly. I think it was in the low 40s down in the parking lot. It's probably a little colder up here. But, uh, You can see, uh, across, I don't know if the camera probably won't show it, but across the way you can see the uh, the trees are frosty on that ridge over there. Up on the top. But, uh, yeah, it just doesn't, it's not, wouldn't be real, I think I would survive it, but it would be a pretty miserable. Pretty miserable getting wet right now. So, I got a bit of a late start and other issues with the uh, the neighbors being loud and not getting a lot of sleep. One of them, <laughs> you, could, you could hear them snoring through the walls. The, the walls are really thin. And one of them was snoring like comically, like, like, It doesn't seem, it seemed like somebody would be doing that like as like a joke or something, but I think, I think it was real. It was pretty loud, but uh, anyways, just up here, enjoying the day a bit, enjoying just being out here, and Grateful for a little break in the weather. Uh, yesterday was even wetter. I I uh, tried going over to Montana to see if I uh, try some different. Sometimes with uh, weather like this, if you try a few valleys over, it'll be different conditions. And it looked like on the radar that 
these mountains were stopping a lot of the uh, precipitation, which might have been true, but it was still pretty gray all all around where I went. But I still enjoyed the the drive and enjoyed seeing seeing what I saw. But uh, I think for now I'm probably gonna head back down, try to get back to my car before it gets dark, and head back. Yeah, this is my the last night I'll spend here, and then I'll be back headed towards Seattle, back to the truck.